Ravana, the mighty king of Lanka, was known for his strength and intellect. His ego, however, knew no bounds. He believed himself to be invincible, superior even to the gods. One day, driven by this arrogance, Ravana decided to prove his might. He set his sights on Mount Kailash, the abode of Lord Shiva. With a thunderous roar, I reached the mountain and dug my 20 powerful arms beneath its base. I will lift this mountain and carry it back to Lanka as a trophy. The earth trembled and the heavens shook as Ravana's effort threatened to upend the cosmic order. Little did he know such hubris would not go unchallenged. Lord Shiva, the destroyer and preserver, the embodiment of cosmic balance, was watching. As Ravana struggled, a strange pressure began to build upon the mountain. It was as if the mountain itself was pushing back, resisting his immense strength. Ravana's muscles bulged and his breath grew ragged as he exerted even more force, but the pressure only intensified. Who dares disturb the peace of Kailash? The voice filled with divine authority sent a tremor through Ravana's body. He looked up to see a single toe descending from the heavens, pressing down upon the peak of Mount Kailash. The weight was unimaginable, crushing Ravana's hand beneath the mountain. He was trapped, his arrogance humbled by a force beyond his comprehension. Fear gripped Ravana's heart, replacing his arrogance with a newfound humility. He realized his folly in challenging the divine. Trapped and in pain, Ravana turned to what he knew best, his vast knowledge of scriptures and the power of his voice. He began to chant, his voice echoing through the valleys, a hymn of praise dedicated to Lord Shiva. This hymn, known as the Shiva Tandava Stotram, describes Shiva's cosmic dance, his power to create and destroy. Ravana poured his heart and soul into each syllable, his voice a mix of pain, reverence and desperation. For a thousand years he sang, his devotion unwavering. His hymn, a testament to his wisdom and his realization of Shiva's supremacy, filled the air around Kailash. Section 4. The Gift of Chandrahasa Impressed by Ravana's sincerity and the depth of his devotion, Lord Shiva decided to release him. Lifting his foot. Rise, Ravana. You have proven your devotion. Emerging from beneath the mountain, Ravana was a changed being. His arrogance had been tempered by his ordeal, replaced by a newfound respect for the divine. Pleased with Ravana's transformation, Shiva decided to bestow a gift upon him. I grant you this, Chandrahasa, the Moon Crescent Sword. Wield it with wisdom and righteousness. The sword, radiant and powerful, was a symbol of Shiva's favor a weapon meant to protect the innocent and vanquish evil. However, the seeds of Ravana's downfall were already sown, hidden within the depths of his own heart. Section 5. The Arrogance of Power Despite his experience, the memory of his humiliation faded with time. Ravana, the king, the scholar, the devotee, was slowly consumed once more by the demon of arrogance. Sitting on his throne, this Chandrahasa is now a tool for my ambition. The Chandrahasa, a gift born out of Shiva's compassion, became a symbol of his renewed pride. He wielded the powerful sword in countless battles, conquering kingdoms and vanquishing his enemies. Each victory fueled his ego, pushing him further down the path of tyranny. He forgot the lessons learned beneath Mount Kailash, the humility he had felt, the devotion he had displayed. Ravana, blinded by his own might, used the divine gift to further his own selfish desires, ultimately setting the stage for his own destruction. Section 6. The sword finds its true purpose. Fate, as it often does, had other plans for the Chandrahasa. When Ravana abducted Sita, wife of Lord Rama, it set in motion a chain of events that would lead to his downfall. Brother, your wicked ways will be your undoing. I will stand with Rama. Vibhishana, Ravana's brother, who had long opposed Ravana's wicked ways, chose to ally himself with Rama. In the epic battle that ensued, Vibhishana, guided by righteousness and armed with the Chandrahasa, fought alongside Rama. The sword, a symbol of Shiva's blessing, could not be wielded for long in the service of evil. Vibhishana, with the Chandrahasa, we shall restore Dharma. It found its true purpose in the hands of Vibhishana, becoming an instrument of justice and ultimately contributing to Rama's victory and the restoration of Dharma. The story of Ravana and the Chandrahasa serves as a stark reminder that power, when unchecked by humility and righteousness, ultimately leads to one's own destruction.